Thank you all for coming today. How are we feeling? Good, good. good. Uh, we have a good show today. I'm John Cantio, your host and producer, and this is True Talk. Uh, we have a packed up show today. We have all kinds of guests, so it's exciting. Uh, first on the show, we have uh, caricatures by Jenny, and uh, she's going to be doing basically almost the whole audience. So different caricatures culture pictures, which is really cool. And we have a publisher from Boom, uh, Charles Thorne, and that's very exciting too. He's going to talk about different topics in his paper and what his paper is about. And as well on the show, we have Greg Giorgio from Altamont Wine School, and he is also an OTB announcer. Uh, he's been for 30 years, so that's exciting also. So you guys ready for a good show? Yeah! Cool, cool. So now we have uh, Jenny. She started to... Uh, uh, she's got a victim today. <laughs> <laughs> you picked out somebody. And uh, how long have you been doing caricature drawings, Jenny? About 20 years. 20 years. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so you must really enjoy it then. I do. I have a lot of fun. It's very, you know, there's not many jobs where you get paid to make fun of people. Right. <laughs> now, where do you usually do these uh, drawings? Do you usually go to uh, birthday parties or affairs or... Yeah, I usually do um, birthday parties, um, weddings, bar and bar mitzvahs, graduation parties, holiday parties, stuff like that. And how long does it take you for each drawing? About a minute to a minute and a half. That's really fast. <laughs> it's the best. That way you capture the essence of the person. Any types of people you like to do more than others? Um, some people just exhibit... Um, character. And those people are usually a lot of fun because everybody just looks at them and says, oh my goodness, that's exactly them. The last thing they want to hear. But it really is good for me. And it's an exaggeration of who they are. Yeah, it basically captures their essence. Right. And that's what it does. Okay, so here we you are. Finished, uh, what's your name, ma'am? Madeline. 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 Okay, you finished her photo. Picture. There you go. That looks very good. <laughs> good job. Here you go, Madeline. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I like that, and I know that you did a one of me earlier today. Yes, we're I gonna, did. We're going to show that. Uh, do we have that available, the one you did of me earlier? That was pretty cool. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little bush of hair in the back. <laughs> I, that does kind of represent me, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely part of your character, I would say. Well, thank you. You're going to be picking different people out throughout the uh, show, and you're going to be doing different drawings of them. Anybody want to go next? Anybody want to go up next? Okay, go on up. Come on over. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll let you uh, do different people throughout the show, and we'll keep showing them. And uh, Sounds good. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, welcome our first guest to the show, everyone, Charles Thorne. How you doing? Good, John. How are you? Good. I don't know if it's my essence, but... <laughs> But Looks Jenny, like everybody's getting one done today, huh? Jen, Jenny was good enough to give me a little extra hair. <laughs> You're so generous, Jenny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so how you doing? I'm doing very good. Good. And you are a publisher of a local paper that's distributed in Albany and Schenectady. What other areas? Yeah, um, Saratoga County. Saratoga Albany, County. Albany, Schenectady, and Saratoga County primarily. Okay, and you distribute all around town. Um, how many do you usually distribute? So... We, uh, our circulation is around 7,500. Oh, okay, that's pretty good then. Very sure. impressive numbers. And how long has the paper been? A little over two years. It over two years. It was two years in April. Okay. So two and a half years this month. Okay, and how did, how did the idea come about to, to do this paper? Well, I, a number of things. Um, you know, the, the paper is focused on baby boomers. So, you know, we So it's cover, mainly people over 50. Is uh, over 40. Idea. Over 40. 40 to 60. Actually, baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964 is what the government considers Okay, and what baby exactly boomer. is baby boomers? Uh -oh. um, after World War II, mm -hmm. when the soldiers came home, um, they got involved. <laughs> <laughs> and as a result, there was an explosion in the birth rate. And uh, that was coined the baby boom. And uh, <clears throat> again, that, that period of time, that generation, if you will, Mm -hmm. uh, extended from birth years of 46 through 64. Okay. So it's folks that are actually the first of the baby boomers are turning 60 this year, have turned 60 in 06. So the generation that coined the phrase, don't trust anyone over 30, is turning <laughs> 60 this year. 
And did that have anything to do with Woodstock? Uh, a little bit, yeah. A little, a little bit. bit, yeah. Okay. So that was right around the time that that phrase was coined. Okay. Now, what made you want to do a paper, too? Well, there was a number of things. Um, one is, you know, I was starting to experience changes in my life. Uh, you know, you're, you're starting to be concerned about retirement. You're starting to be concerned about uh, maybe a change of career. A lot of people were going through that. Um, <clears throat> you're in a situation where you're trying to get the kids through college. You're trying to, maybe your parents are failing. So there's all these life things happening at that point. And in, in a lot of cases, you didn't know where to turn. So as I was trying to find out those answers for myself, I thought, why not share it? with other people that are going through the same thing. And I know we gave away uh, a copy to everyone in the audience today, and you guys were reading them before the show. Did we get any uh, impressions, first impressions? Anybody want to say anything about the paper? OK, great. OK, yeah, I saw it standing up. I'm sorry. I, I saw that you were reading it during, uh, before the show. And uh, what did you think about the paper? I thought it was excellent. I thought it was really relative to my age group. Um, and it had a lot of things that were, uh, I liked Benita Zahn's article. It was very personable. A lot of um, personal stories, which is really nice to see. So I liked it a lot. Cool. So that's some good reaction right there. Yes. Benita's writing ha style is very Can I ask, have you, heard of, have you heard of the paper before? No, never. So this is good. Well, this please is good. pick it up. I will. <laughs> and it's free. The, the yes, paper it's is free. It's a free uh, paper. Um, places that you would typically find Metroland, uh, not as many locations, but libraries, bookstores, the a number of the merchants of, along J Street, mm -hmm. um, the public library here, um, shopping malls, uh, again, coffee shops, office buildings. Okay, so what, what, kind of, what kind of issues do you address? What articles are in the paper? Well, um, we'll do uh, personal profiles of mm -hmm. <coughs> people of different who well-known people around the area. Either well-known in that age group or folks that have affected that age group mm -hmm. somehow, um, or just you know people in that age group that are maybe doing some extraordinary things. And she was talking about life. what was Benita, Benita Zahn? Uh, what was that about? Benita writes a uh, regular column. A monthly column for me. Um, it's not, uh, it, I mean, it's health oriented, but it's not, you know, uh, ailments and whatnot. A lot of times it, it's got to do with a positive attitude. Uh, Benita is a very positive and energetic person, and, and that comes through in her articles. Uh, but it's dealing, again, with, with the, uh, the problems that you do go through with the aging. And who is ben Benita Zahn? She's a newscaster, right? Yes, yeah, she's a uh, anchor on Channel 13. Okay, so that's pretty... And their health editor. Oh, great. So her, her articles mainly consist of health issues? S yes, in that it realm. Ranges. Yes. Okay. So what are there some of the hot topics that you have in your papers these days? Well, um, one of the, uh, the topics that seems to recur with this age group is caring for aging parents mm -hmm. and caregivers and, and how, how much of a strain and... and uh, problem that is for, for folks our age. Okay. So basically, uh, what uh, solutions? Are there solutions uh, Solutions, solutions the support. Um, sometimes it's just, you know, as simple as other people are going through it too. Um, okay. So do you, do you provide uh, uh, different programs for people to, uh, t to use? A lot of times our articles will be dealing with that. For example, there's a local program here called Umbrella of the Capital District, okay. and they're housed right over here on Erie Boulevard. And <clears throat> essentially what Umbrella does is they have a staff of handymen, and, and a lot of these guys, too, are recently retired uh, people. Mm -hmm. So um, they're able to maybe supplement their retirement income by becoming handymen, and they'll go into different folks houses and the homes that they're going into uh, in a lot of cases are people who are having a problem keeping up their home. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're getting older, they're getting frail, maybe it's a widow or a widower uh, that needs just these simple tasks taken care of, maybe a simple painting job, maybe uh, a faucet replaced, things of that nature. So does the caretakers are, are you're speaking about the, the, the children, their children? 
Um, and it, well, yes, the caretakers in a lot of cases are the children. Okay.